All right, guys, here we are, the last box of my, or the last pack of my collector boosters from my Ixalan collector booster box. All six here. Okay. Let's see here. We got the uh, Lucky Clavelino mat out because the last time I had Clavelino mat out, we hit the Cosmium Cavern of Souls for those that haven't seen it. Beautiful card. All right. Let's get going. Hope we get a box topper in this one because remember, box three hosed me on the topper. Ugh. Sorry to pull it off screen to rip the plastic real quick. Okay. Hey, this one remembered the box topper too. Well, I guess five of six isn't bad, I guess, in baseball. Whatever. Magic. Yeah, it could be better. You guys know magic. All right, let's see what we get in the box topper here. Come on. Chalice of the Void. That's the one we haven't seen yet. Well, it's a chalice, not the good one. The ever flowing chalice. So there's that one. Let's throw it over there with the rest of the other toppers. Not my favorite card, but it's in every commander deck. All right, here we go. Well, started off with the dinosaur token. Can't complain there. All right. All right, Sanguine Evangelist. Thousand Moose Smitty. Master of the Dark Rides, that's a beautiful card. I love that. So I suppose you sacrifice to get three mana. That's great. Basically a dark ritual. Um, especially with the vampires I make. Just does wonders. There's a Vito. First time seeing Vito, fanatic of Aklazots. We will take him. Actually, that's my commander card. Dino DNA. And the Brass Tunnel Grinder. All right. Off, to, off and running. We didn't start with the land, but you guys know I'm going to finish with a bunch of lands. All right. All right. Beautiful Resplendent Angel. Mythic Foil. The Belligerent. Sunfrill Imitator. That's my first time seeing this card off the Commander Rack. Echoing Deeps. And a land, because that's what we needed. And the Quatzil's Flanker as the rare. And the dun nope, the treasure token. Well, we got one of each right there. Probably about the best hits we're going to see. <laughs> magic giveth and magic taketh away. All right, let's see here. Another yearling. Subterranean schooner. Cosmium Confluence, Singer of Swift Rivers, and there's Osier Axinil again. We will take that beautiful mythic, and another Ian Malcolm, but this one's foil, and Tarion's Journal foil. All right. Okay, we're getting there. I mean, I'll take an Osier, and we've finally got Ian in foil. All right. Let's see here. This card's great. I love a braid, especially on draft night. Even though I don't win, it's a card I always try to go grab because it's just so devastating. All right, another braided net. Oh, there's the Quatzil Flanker again. The Curious Altasaur. Oh, there you go. That one's in Upside Down. But at least it's not missing anything. And a land because I needed one. And the Bedrock Tortoise. There we go. Full art, gnome map. All right, plugging along here. Almost done here, guys. I'm doing pretty good. And there's my beautiful vampire demon token again. There's a land. Corpses of the Lost, Queen's Bay Paladin. Full art. The Eye of Osier Talk. Full art. Non foil though, but still beautiful. I haven't figured out how to make the crafting work yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Restless Anchorage. Don't move. There's a really nice card. Too bad that's not the emblem card. That's the most valuable one, I think, uh, next to the Ravenous Tyrannosaurus for the emblem cards. 
And another Queen's Bay Paladin. Oh, and I got the double vampire token. I personally like that. That helps me out. All right. Okay, halfway done, guys, on the last box. Halfway done. All right, Roaming Throne. There's a good one. Look at that beautiful Roaming Throne. Oh, man, just mixing him with my Osier Talk. There we go. Poetic Ingenuity. There's Carmen. Hadn't seen her yet. There's the there's the uh, Lieutenant for Clavelino. Blood Letter of Aklasots. Beautiful card. Command Tower, because I needed a land. And Tarion's Journal again. All right. Well, definitely hadn't seen Carmen yet, the full art at least. I'd love to get the full art foil, then I can put it into my bougie vampire deck with all my other Edgar Markov like super nice foils. All right, four packs to go, including this one. All right. Rampaging Ceratops. So it's another one of those cards, like sometimes you just feel it, it's too thick. This is one of those ones. Hey, Restless Vince, the Enigma Jewel. There's another Commander uh, Hackball. I think one of that's the Kellen again, and a Foil Forest, and Polani's Hatcher with the Dinosaur Egg Dino combo. All right, all right, three to go, guys. Three to go. I think this one will have my last regular, based on what I've seen, uh, Jurassic Park card. Hey, there's a good special guest guy. We have yet to see him yet. That's actually a good one. Dargo the Shipwrecker. So he's going to come out into the hip hop. Ooh, there's Get Lost. Beautiful foil, devastating card for two mana. Subterranean Schooner. Broadside Bombardiers. This card's taken off as of late. The Pugnacious Hammer Skull. Yep, we'll see what I see. Ellie and Allen. There we go. And the Belligerent. All right. Actually, I miscounted. Sorry. This is my third pack. I had one that had fallen down in there. All right. Captivating Cave. Beautiful foil. Belligerent Yearling. Flowing well. The Echo. First time seeing Promise of Aklazots. Commander card, Breaches, there's a land. Ooh, Calamax, the Stormshire. There you go, and the Treasure Token from Jurassic Park. Look at that, and the Foil Treatment. I saw the special guest on the bottom, and I thought it may have hit uh, either a Cavern of Souls or a uh, Mana Crypt, but look at that beautiful Calamax there, the Stormshire. And that's definitely going down in the hit pile. All right. Couple more to go here. Couple more to go. Threefold Thunder Hulk. Telerian's Journal. Xavier Saul. There's the Infested Captain. Get Lost Again. Seen this one a lot. Ah! Owen Grady got the miscut. So frustrating. And Kellen again. <sighs> That's so irritating when I see the miscuts on the good cards. All right. Okay, apparently my eyes don't want to work. I could have swore I only had a couple left, but... All right, let's keep going here. There's Molten Collapse. There's the Bedrock Tortoise, because I mentioned it. Tributary Instructor, that's a new one. Have yet to see that one. There's Osier Kaslim, the Green God. And a Command Tower, because I just needed another one. And then there's the beautiful foil Vito, Fanatic of Aklazots. All right, last pack, guys. I swear it's the last one, because I can't see what I'm doing. My brain doesn't want to work. 
Let's see what we got here. There's the blood letter of Aquasot's regular card, beautiful foil treatment. Abuelo's Awakening. There's Francisco, the Ancient One. All right, another god. Spitting Dilophosaurus in beautiful foil. Finally got the foil of this one. So nice. And the Deep Root Pilgrimage. All right. Something. One sec. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this actually was the first time I split evenly six and six out of the 12 packs that I got for Jurassic Park. I was usually hitting about four to five of these and the rest lands, but this is the first time I went six and six, which is probably why my brain was going a little wild on me. So um, not doing another after one on this one just because there was nothing major, nothing really to look up. Uh, probably took a loss on this one as well. So um, I would say four... Out of my six boxes took losses, but then again, when you look at these two, it's hard to say that I didn't because how often do you get the most expensive Cavern of Souls and the second most expensive emblem card out of one case? You just can't beat it. I'll take it as a win every day. Um, so what's going to happen next is I've opened the entire case. You guys have seen that it's empty. All right. So what I'm going to do is get everything organized, and then I'm going to show you exactly what you get in the entire case and you guys can have an idea of what a case is going to produce as far as how many rares, how many everything, with the exception of me getting shorted uh, one of my um, box toppers. You guys will be able to see it all here. So thanks again for watching on Rippin' Magic for Less and We for a Loss. I don't even know my own title. And we will see you guys here on the uh, overall wrap-up of the set.